Okay, by now, your feet are wet playing some of these kind of cool ideas and hip licks, and you're thinking, okay, what's next? Well, what's next is I'm going to blow. And when we say blow in jazz, we mean that we're going for it. So what you're going to hear in this third solo is completely improvised. There's no written out lines. There's no pre-memorization going on. I'm flying by the seat of my pants, which is kind of what improvised music is about, what jazz is about. So one of the things that you're going to hear is that there's a lot of swing and there's a lot of drive. And also on this third solo, the tempo is sped up quite a bit because this is more like a real situation, a real jam situation or a real playing situation where the tempos aren't going to be nice and easy so you can spend all the time in the world working on them. They're going to really push you. And so you've really got to take your time working on this. But there's going to be some cool ideas. Harmonically, I've started to get much more intricate. I'm using a lot of tritone substitution which I talk about and I'm also using a lot of chromaticism which is intricate and it's hard to work on so you have to take your time as you're developing some of these ideas but uh, and, and I also use the blue scale because it, that's really a great scale and it's always a great thing to have especially if you're playing a lot of chromatic lines Personally, when I'm doing a lot of intricate chromaticism and complex compound phrases, I integrate the blues into what I'm doing because it grounds the sound and it pulls the listener in with you. So that's just my own. It's totally subjective. But I think the farther out you get, it's always good to come home to mama. And that's the blues. So have fun with this and good luck. Thank you. 